question for you. When is the last time you listened to a book on tape? It's been a while for me, but students at the Loveland High School District and Middle School District, elementary too, they're doing it all the time and they're putting a new twist on it. The Now's Allie Kramer fired up her own laptop, shows us how. I use it for about every class, if it's reading for a textbook or if it's like a novel I have to read. Eighth grader Evan Berryman doesn't go anywhere without his tablet and Learning Ally. Learning Ally is a database of audiobooks, putting more than 80,000 books in Evan's hands with just a tap. It's easy to use and it also has audio and text on it as well. Learning Ally caters to students with a wide range of learning disabilities. In Loveland, 65 teachers and 300 students are using it. Today, Evan's reading Maze Runner for English class. With another jolt, the room jerked upward like an old lift in a mine shaft. Evan follows along. The portion he's hearing is highlighted. All of Evan's textbooks are loaded on this tablet. So is the textbook becoming obsolete? I'll use it from time to time if there's like a certain page that I just need to read. Learning Alley is really working to bridge a lot of gaps that we experienced in the past with, with reaching certain students and, and providing um, to their specific needs. So Learning Alley is really a game changer. Director of Technology David Knapp says it's one more way to individualize the lessons to each student's needs. Learning Ally has like made a difference for me because it's um, since I don't have to physically read the book, it's easier to get into books. So I've read a lot more with it. But are the audiobooks giving kids the easy way out and preventing them from becoming better readers? Research also shows that the students that have this type of access actually make better reading progress than those that don't. Allie Sounds good, Allie. Thank you. And